Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekly love reading from the 6th through the 12th. I am going to tip you down here because we got cards coming out. Alright, your first card out was the King of Swords. Your next card out was the Five of Wands in reverse. What else do Leos need to know? The Two of Wands. Your outcome for the week. All right, your bottom of the deck and shared energy is Temperance in reverse with the Six of Swords. And the Queen of Swords in reverse. Next card out is the Four of Wands. So some of you could be experiencing the ending um, or a shakeup within the home, your home life. Um, somebody that you have built a home with. Uh, but there's a need for healing here. There's a need for patience. Um, and this healing uh, needs to come due to... It's like, it's like you guys stayed too long. You, you couldn't cut yourself out of the situation you were in because... The feelings you had for this person were so strong. So it caused a lot more emotional um, heartache, a lot more emotional, you know, damage to yourself. So you're being called to, uh, you know, have that healing um, for yourself with the temperance in reverse, finding that inner light again. Um, some of you are really feeling very sad. There's a king of swords here. All right, so <clears throat> finally um, making decisions, taking action. Um, the kings always move forward um, in their truth, taking action quickly. Well, not quickly, but after thinking, um, you took your time to think through the situation on what you wanted to do. You could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody who's in need of some self-reflection, Um they could have been balanced or, you know, juggling your energy in the past. But this is going with the flow, finally, Leos. You're giving up the the fight of trying to control everything and just letting things happen. Um, finding that balance again after walking away from a situation that was just ugly. Um, you're still in this situation for some of you because it is in the reverse. But you are going to be walking away from this uh, this uh, person very soon, taking action and moving forward. Why is a five of wands here in reverse? So you're you're overcoming that inner conflict, those uh, battles within yourself. You're figuring out how to balance your light and dark. Um, yeah, yeah. You are um, removing yourself from the competition. There was a lot of people in this uh, situation, um, whether it be their opinions or you know more than one person. But you're tired of doing all the work. You're tired of um, being the one that's always left in the dark. That somebody walked away from you at one point in time, um, and you're just tired of being out in the cold. Tired of nobody, or tired of this person not telling you what's going on, hiding things from you. Um, you also could ha be uh, quitting a job and you're worried about your finances. So make sure you have a job lined up before you quit if that is for you, if you're thinking about it. Um, you are at this crossroads. You are trying to decide which direction to go. You're trying to manifest um, something, but you're not backing it up with your actions so it's hard for the universe to help manifest that for you it's also saying to quiet your mind and listen to your intuition because it's going to tell you which way to go it's going to point you in what direction you need to um because you're having a lot of confusion on which way to go and the universe is saying that that they're trying to help you they're trying to guide you um this is also moving on from being somebody's secret so um you, that's why you were left in the dark for some of you because this person had somebody else and you were the secret. In your guys' outcome, you have the Page of Swords in reverse, the Page of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Why is the Page of Swords here? Thank you. All right, yeah. So you weren't able to remove yourself from the situation um, until you get the truth. So you've been holding on. And it's just, it's causing a lot more heartache. 
but you've you've been unable to release this person, unable to cut yourself out of the situation because you just want to hear the truth out of them. You just want explanations. You just want answers. And they're not coming in for you. Um, why is the Page of Cups here? And that's really hard for you. That's, it's, yeah, I can just feel this sadness. Why is the Page of Cups here? of wands yeah they're not offering this love to stay they're very in and out they're very flighty one day they're hot one day they're cold um one day they want you one day they don't one day they you know want sex the other day next day they don't answer your text um they're not offering this genuine love it's a very in and out um sexual uh connection uh and here's the Knight of Cups in reverse. So not coming in with that love offer that they had promised you or that you had hoped. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Thank you. Yeah. you. They told you they were coming back. They told you that they loved you, that they were going to pick you, that they wanted to be with you. And they're not. They're not coming back. And this has just absolutely devastated you. And you're needing to take some time for this healing to deal with this heartache and, and uh, be able to... Uh, carry forward with that tr that ace or that that sort of truth um clarifying the temperance in reverse so uh no longer um needing to invest in the situation it's now time to heal it's time to take time to yourself quit giving 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 to everybody take that energy back and put it within yourself start investing in your own health your own um heart because you're you're constantly giving out this energy when it needs to be used for self-healing uh, you're having a hard time walking away you have the six of swords and now the eight of cups your mind's telling you to go and your heart's telling you to stay your mind's telling you f this and your heart's saying but i love them so you're having a really um hard time which would explain why you are at this crossroads leo and the queen of swords uh you you're having a hard time because you're you need to go through this transformation you have this unconditional love for this person and uh and that's why it's so hard for you to cut yourself away you love this person so dearly that um it's causing you to be out of balance it's causing you to come in as the uh, in the reverse it's causing yeah it's causing all this heartbreak turning your whole world upside down leo's all right, let's see what your cross watchers got going on. All right. I have the King of Swords here for Leo's cross watcher. The Ten of Swords, yeah. So, uh, cross watcher to leo the leos are getting ready to end the cycle to move on to make a choice to pack their bags and leave because you left them for dead they feel like you left them for the wolves um there's a lot of heartache here a lot of just tears i'm seeing a lot of tears a lot of betrayal um that they never thought they would see from you why is the five of wands here for leo's cross watcher All right, so they're they're putting the conflict within their own mind down. Uh, they are going to move forward, cross watcher, um, and move in the direction of their guided path. The sun is here to light the way, to illuminate what has been done, and to help them regain their uh, their just vibration. Um, this is also just taking quick action, not uh, worrying about. Um, not really thinking about it, but just being able to take action and move forward. Oh, let's try that again. <laughs> the two of wands. All right, and there's temperance again. So uh, the person you're dealing with, uh, Cross Watcher, is at this um, fork in the road, not knowing which direction to go, um, but they're in need of this healing. They're in need of finding um, that inner peace 
to find that inner uh, guidance and to allow themselves to heal over the heartache that was caused within um, this situation and this relationship. They're waiting for you to tell them the truth. They know that there's something that you're hiding um, and they're waiting for you to come forward before they can really let go. As a page of swords here. All right, so yeah, they're waiting for you to come forward with this truth and to not be so flighty, to actually come forward, to stay, to be honest with them, to tell them what is going on instead of this back and forth energy. Um, and they want to know why this relationship has come to what it has. Why did it not work out? Why have you not left somebody else? Why have you um, just been in and out and back and forth in my life? They're waiting for that truth, Crosswatcher. They're also waiting on you to make this offer of love. Yeah, but they're feeling very defeated. They're feeling very betrayed, very sad. And there's, I just keep hearing, why did you lie to me? Why did you lie to me? Knight of Cups. Yeah, they're going to move forward from this. They have made a decision to uh, move forward. No matter how much stress and anxiety it has caused them, they are going to uh, walk in their own direction away from this relationship that has caused a lot of hurt. Uh, they've had a lot of sadness, a lot of heartache, a lot of stress and anxiety, um, and that is what they need to heal from. They need to release that worry. Um, the Leos need to release that worry, let go, and have this time of healing. Um, they're walking away from this deceitful energy, the Seven of Swords. They're walking away from a uh, situation that where they were betrayed and, and the sneaky behavior. Um, they haven't walked away yet. They haven't allowed this cycle to complete because they're waiting on that truth. Because they have unconditional love for you. They had that at the bottom of their deck as well. Uh, but they're waiting They're waiting to hear why this is this. They want the truth. And they're unable to cut themselves away from this cycle um, without it. But they are coming to the conclusion that sometimes you have to apologize or you have to forgive people who never apologize. So they are going to allow the cycle to end, Crosswatcher, and uh, take action and move forward away from this um, situation that, that you have you have been in. Let's get one card for Leo's. Whoa. All right. So you have romantic feelings and codependency. So romantic feelings, your feelings are worth exploring. Leo's um, and codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. So the person that you um, have been deceived by, Leo's, um, could have a codependency, could have an addiction. Um, even though you feel all this love for them, there is this codependency that needs to be broken from. This uh, this toxicity that is in your environment. This could be you as well, Leos, and you could be the one that is codependent on them. Remember, uh, energies are vice versa, so um, put yourself in the position of whichever one fits. I hope this helped you guys and you enjoyed it. I send you guys all love, light, and God bless.